I think it's all about how can you persevere and go through a different adversity in life. You know, some of the challenges you go through in the basketball court can carry on and transfer to you in, in everyday life. And I think some of the kids today, we did mock media interviews, teach them how to speak to the media. We did a breakdown of relationships and, you know, how guys and girls should not so much focus on relationship, but focus on school. We had the clearinghouse come down from Indianapolis and, and talk a little bit about grades and academics and make sure you're focused on the SAT. And so I think it was pretty good overall week. From your basketball experience, you played what, about 10 years in Europe, correct? Yes, eight. Uh, what do you tell them about that experience and what can you relay to them about, you know, I think when you're a kid, you want to play pros. So right. what do you tell them about that experience that, that can help them get to that level? Well, I think uh, this week has been really, it has been a tremendous week. I think uh, we have eight, we have eight professional basketball players here. And I think uh, some of the things we went over this week about working hard when everyone is asleep, it's not so much you being the best player in Fort Wayne. Now, if you look at the NBA, you see the Spurs, you got to be the best player in the world. You got different basketball players from all over the world. So it's, it's all the small things you do when no one else is watching to help improve your game. And you play at Southside, correct? Northside. Northside, Northside. Um, coming from Northside and being a, a guy from Fort Wayne that made it to the professional level, um, what was that journey like for you? And how does it, uh, looking back on it, you say, wow, I can't believe I made it? <laughs> right. I tell you what, it's, it's, it's hard coming from Fort Wayne. You know, Indianapolis is a little bit bigger and you get more recognition when you're from Indianapolis. But I, if, if kids really put the hard work in on and off the court, and that's one of the reasons why I always tell kids, always give it 100% because it's not just basketball, it's in life. And, and, and I try to, to give my testimony and have other athletes give their testimony. But what it takes is, because a lot of kids think you can come in and show up whenever everyone else is here and play well, but it's, that's not that's not how it works. You got to come in when everyone else is not around and, and listen to your parents and, and try to do the small things and being self-disciplined and self-motivated to get you to the next level.